Hello students, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Toma Chang Tutorial. Myself, Christian Kulum, and today we are ready to go for combination of Boyle's Law and Charles Law. We have already done Boyle's Law and Charles Law in our previous videos. If you want to watch that video, kindly find the link below in the description and watch them again. Let's begin. From Boyle's Law, from Boyle's law, we have volume of gas is inversely proportional to pressure of gas at constant mass and temperature. Temperature, okay. Mass and temperature are kept constant in Boyle's law. We must remember this. In Boyle's law, mass and temperature are kept constant. This is very important. From Boyle's law, we have the equation. Volume of gas is inversely proportional to its pressure when mass and temperature are kept constant. When mass and temperature are kept constant, if we increase the pressure, volume of gas decreases and if we decrease the pressure, volume of gas increases. This is what Boyle's law says us. And from Charles' law, from Charles' law, we have volume is proportional to its absolute temperature at constant mass and pressure okay mass and pressure of the gas should remain constant at constant mass and pressure of the gas volume of gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature that means if temperature increases volume of gas also increases and if temperature decreases volume of gas also decreases this is what charles law tells us so, if we combine this by joint variation, by joint variation, by joint variation, I'll let you know the rule of joint variation here. If A varies B and if A varies 1 upon C, then by joint variation we can write this A and this A as 1A and varies, this B is in the numerator because there is 1 in the denominator, B. So B will remain in the numerator and this C is in the denominator, so C will remain in the denominator. This is the rule of joint variation, okay? In mathematics, we learn this rule in the chapter called variation. Okay, by joint variation, this B and this V can be written as one single V varies this T is in the numerator so T into 1 means T divided by in the denominator we have P so we write P here we write where all parameters vary where all parameters vary this means Nothing is constant here. Volume, temperature and pressure. Nothing is constant. Anything can change. Volume is proportional to T upon P. Where all parameters vary. Nothing is constant. Okay. So, please take the screenshot of this. I am going to erase the upper part. I hope you are getting the concept. Now, we replace this. Sign of variation with equal to sign V equal to when we replace the sign of variation with equal to sign we need to introduce a constant K okay T upon P and here let us mention where K is variation constant variation constant K is variation constant or you can also say k is proportionality constant. Now, let us multiply this p with v cross multiplication. p into v, pv equal to k into t is kt. Okay. 
or PV, let us bring this T in the denominator of PV by cross, multipl cross multiplication, PV by T equal to constant. That means product of pressure volume divided by absolute temperature is always constant. Okay, therefore we can write P1 V1 by T1 equal to P2 V2 by T2 equal to constant. So this is the combined equation of Boyle's law and Charles law. This is the combined combined equation of Boyle's law and Charles law. Boyle's law and Charles law. P1 V1 by T1 equal to P2 V2 by T2 is the combined equation of Boyle's law and Charles law. You can also say this as gas equation, okay, or ideal gas equation. Okay, to understand the combined equation of Boyle's law and Charles law, I have written a question out here. We will solve this question and try to understand the combined equation of Boyle's law and Charles law. Okay. Let us read out the question first. The given mass of gas occupies 572 cc at 13 degrees Celsius and 725 mm of Ag pressure. What will be its volume at 24 degrees Celsius and 792 mm of Ag pressure? Let us first write the given conditions and then go for the solution okay what are given to us let us first write that given p1 is pressure 1 725 mm of ig pressure 725 mm of of ig pressure okay we need not write this P1 is 725 mm of Ag. V1 is or V1 is 572 cc. 572 cc. Volume of gas is 572 cc. Pressure of gas is 725 mm of Ag. And T1 is T1. Let us write in absolute scale. T1. T1 is 13 degrees Celsius. So while calculating or while using the combined state of Boyle's law and Charles law, we have seen that the temperature was converted to absolute scale. So we need to convert this 13 degrees Celsius to absolute scale of temperature. So I wrote T1 in absolute form, T1 capital T1, 13 degrees Celsius plus 273 becomes Kelvin. Okay. So T1 is 3 plus 3, 6. 7 plus 1, 8, 2, 286 Kelvin. 13 degrees Celsius means 286 Kelvin. These are the conditions given. Again, P2 is given to us. P2 is how much? 792 mm of Ag. 792 mm of Ag. And V2 is not given to us, V2 has been asked to us, and T2 absolute scale, I'm writing in absolute scale, but in the question, the temperature given in Celsius scale, so let me convert 24 degrees Celsius to absolute scale, 24 plus 273 means Kelvin, okay, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, and this two, 297 Kelvin. So, when the pressure of the gas was 725 mm of Ag, volume was 572 cc. And at the time, temperature, absolute temperature was 286 Kelvin. Now, the pressure has been changed to 792 mm of Ag. Temperature has been changed to 297 Kelvin. At that condition, what will be the volume of the gas? 
This is what the question is asking to us. Let us solve this. Since we have the combined equation of Boyle's law and Charles law, since P1, B1 equal upon T1 equal to P2, B2 upon T2. This is the combined equation of Boyle's law and Charles law. We put the values here. P1 is how much? 725. 725 into V1. V1 is 572. 572 divided by T1. T1 is 286. 286 equal to P2. P2 is 792. Just we put the values 792 into V2 is not given to us. T2 is given to us 297, 297, okay? Now let us cancel these numbers. 11, 2 is 22, means 7 in hand, 22 means 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 7, 77, so 11, 7 is 77. 11, 7 is 77. 78, 79, 29, so it becomes 22, 11, 2 is 22, 9, 3 is 27, 9, 8 is 72. Here also let us divide, I think we can cancel this by 11 as well, 11, 2 is 22, so 6 in 9, 28, that means 6, so 11, 6 is 66, 11, 5 is 55, 56, 57, 2, 11 2 is 22. Now 26 1 is 26. 26 2 is 52. So we have, okay, here we have 8 again. 7 to 5 into 2. Let us bring this 8 down here by cross multiplication. 8, 8. We drop this 8 to the denominator yeah, by cross multiplication. Okay. And 3 we can. Cross multiply to the numerator into 3 equal to V2. I hope you got this. We brought this V2 here by cross multiplication. The, uh, sorry, we brought this 3 here by cross multiplication 3. 7 to 5 and 2 was already there. 7 to 5 and 2. We brought this 3 here in the numerator by cross multiplication and we brought this 8 in the denominator here by cross multiplication. Okay. And in the right hand side, V2 is left. So let us cancel again. 2 1 the 2, 2 4 the 8. Now uh, there is 5 in the last digit, so there is no possibility of cancellation further. So let us multiply these two numbers and divide by 4. 3 5 the 15, 3 2 the 6, plus 1 7, 3 7 the 21. 2 1 7 5 divided by 4 equals to V2. So please take the screenshot of this. I'm going to erase this. I can do here also. 2175. 2175 divided by 4. 4 5 is 20. 1. This one comes down. Now 7. 4 4 is 16. So again 1. This 5 comes down. 4 3 is 12. Now comes 3. Let's put a decimal point and put zero here. Four seven the twenty-eight. We have already a decimal, so we can put another zero. Thirty minus eight is two. Four five the twenty. Okay. So five four three point seven five. When two thousand one hundred seventy-five was divided by four, we got five forty-three point seven five. Therefore, volume of gas equals to 543.75 cc when the pressure of the gas was 725 mm of Ig volume was 572 and at the time temperature was 286 now the pressure is changed to 792 and temperature is changed to 297 Kelvin okay at that time what will be the volume of the gas that was the question we Solve the question by using the combined equation of Boyle's law and Charles law that is P1 B1 by T1 equal to P2 V2 by T2. By simple calculation, we found out the volume of gas to be 543.75 cc. Thank you so much for watching the video. 
I hope you liked the video and understood what I tried to explain. If you have any question or doubt, you can definitely ask them in the comment section. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay healthy. And hey, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get updates for more videos. Thank you.